Yo, what's up everyone? Another VOD review. Um, gonna look at two games here uh, with Centipede, who's uh, sent this one through. Um, I believe this is around 1.8 KCR. Um, and we're looking at a Warrior Mistweaver and then a Warrior Priest game. So two mirrors. Um, there's a whole bunch of games here, so I may include um, in, in a separate video, maybe some more. Um, if you have VODs that you want me to review, that you want to see, that you want to see featured on a video, um, send them through. Preferably games that are interesting, like where there's a loss or, you know, maybe it's a really close win um, and you're not sure why you won. Um, if you can send these through and, like, give me some ideas about, you know, what you've been struggling with and, you know, what comps you think are hard, I prefer to review those rather than you just stomping some people. Um but yeah, anyway, we'll jump into the first game. Um, again, if you want to send your VODs through, check the Discord link in this YouTube clip below. Um, I've got, I'm going to make a channel specifically um, to put VODs into. So check that out. Cool, we get into this game. Uh, we're running Banner, which is good, but we're running Disarm. Oh, I, I can't tell if that's Disarm or... I think that's Duel. Okay, that's not Disarm. It's Duel. Um, so we're running Banner, which is good. Um, I think we, we should have disarm here too so it's all g we've we charge and we throw the spear i would have really stunned and then speared especially with a mistweaver who's really looking for your spear right um but then we get the stun out i think there was a bit of lag here we get some good pressure and this blaze storm is beautiful right what you can do here when the mistweaver cocoons if you still want to hit the mistweaver you should probably go and shatter this rather than just damaging through it um, because your shadow will do a huge amount of damage in that cocoon um, he's trying to draw his shadows, so this is where Spear would have been really good. When he's casting Dora shadows, you can just Spear at the last second, it'll drag him right back. Uh, we swap on the Warrior here, which is good. Um, this is a bit awkward, right? Because we just, we did a DR War Stomp, so we extended our Stun DR, and, uh, I think you got Stun coming back up soon as well. Um, here, you get Ropped, and, uh, you charge him. It's kind of okay, maybe you could have Piercing Howled, I'm not sure. Um, we get a fear here, which is really, really nice. I think this is excellent. Um, Warrior is probably a good target here. He's blade storming. Uh, you know, we eat a little bit of it, but this uh, little typhoon or whatever it's called is really good. Probably could have looked to get both of them with that spear. Um, but, you know, that's that's not a big deal. We get disarmed on it, which is fine. Um, keeping hamstring up, which is great. The stun is excellent, right? This is a really good play. We're going to definitely force something out here. Um, Drew is a bit awkward standing next to you because now you're going to get cleaved. You do the parry, which is good. Um, this is this is all good stuff. The hots should try and... We, we should top you soon. Uh, we can get a fatty blade storm. Yep, we do. This is excellent. The warrior is getting chopped up. Um, he parries, right? So the warrior has no parry. Uh, and I'm not sure if he human trinketed it or not, but he might have. Um, the druid's kiting him pretty nicely, but the druid's pretty scared here, like he's got nothing really. Uh, the swap to the warrior's good. I'm not sure how long that storm bolt lasted, but um, hopefully I think it's a full duration. This is okay. <clears throat> we're sweeping strikes. We're, we're a bit awkward. We, you know, if, if the mist weaver ports and we can't get to him, just we just instant swap, right? So, so just get your arena 1-2 target macros down. Um, this is decent. This is decent. It's just trading. One thing I want to note really quickly is you should have, um, your, your healer's mana somewhere on your screen, right? So I don't know how well you're doing compared to this Mistweaver because I don't know how much mana your, your Druid has. If, if your mana has 10k mana, sorry, if your Druid has 10k mana, you're losing this game pretty hard and you need to start making some plays and play a bit more aggressive. If you are winning on mana, um, then you don't, right? You can probably trade pretty nicely, play defensive, and just, just win the game slowly. But this isn't too bad. We get the spear here. I would have probably held the spear for a swap onto the Mistweaver. I don't think you get too much out of spearing the warrior here. Um, and, oh, actually, my bad. It was uh, it was the wrong spear. You speared at the right time. Um, we get dropped really, really quickly here. This warrior kind of comboed on you when you weren't in D stance. If we let, let's go back a little bit, right? Let's see how this happened, right? Because we're on one percent. Something must have happened. 
in the last couple of seconds, right? So let's break this down. We Stormbolt the healer, which uh, which is okay. I mean, it, it is what it is, right? And he spears us, and we're in D stance, which is good, which is good, good, good. So we kind of stay here. You know, do you have leap? I think you've got leap up. Um, do you have your file? I can't see where your file is. Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe you have file as well. So here, your Drew's not in CC. Maybe he's drinking. He seems to be really far away from you, and you haven't you haven't received a hot in a very long time. So yeah, that's exactly what happened. So there we go. That's what I mean, right? Um, you need to get. I, I think what happened there. I'm not sure if you knew. You you might have known. So I don't take this in the wrong way at all. Um, your druid was drinking. You probably know now, <laughs> right? Looking back at the game, but I think your druid was drinking. I'm not sure if he had like a macro to tell you. So you probably shouldn't be going there. What you should be doing if your druid needs to uh, drink is you should just be like piercing howl, leaping, kiting as best as you can, stunning the warrior defensively instead of stunning the mist weaver. Right? Playing super defensive to let him get that drink. If you could have seen his mana, maybe it would have been a bit more evident that he needs to get a drink and you have to start playing defensive, right? So one thing, easy fix here, put interface on, right? And um, and I think there's a section in raid frames where you can turn on uh, mana, right? So so super easy fix and uh, and something you can do right now. So let me find the next game. I think there was another game here. Actually, I was going to look at the Warrior Ret game. Sorry, the Warrior Disc game. But I think there was a more interesting one I looked at. Yeah, here we go. This is excellent. So just for, for notice, like I, I did review these before, but my microphone was all messed up on it. Um, I, I think I was like speaking straight into the microphone. If I keep making these, I will definitely invest in a better microphone because I'm using a headset speaker at the moment. Um, so I do want to upgrade that. I'll, I'll definitely look into buying a, a better mic. So reversing a uh, HPAL and a Windwalker, right? So this is fine. We stun the, the fists, which is really good. Let's see. We've got Banner, right? We see the HPAL is running towards our healer who's in an in-cap in the middle of the map. And do we Banner? No. So we so when you see that, when you ever you see a H power running towards your healer and your healer is stuck in CC, you can pretty safely banner. And one, if he if he doesn't go um and do the hodge, you know, your your druid probably could have le leapt out of there um and survived, maybe blinked away. If he does go for it, it's a three second hodge, which is kind of messes up their DRs, right? Because now the sweep's gonna be like three seconds too. Um, everything comes out here. This fear is nice. I think it might have been a bit weirdly timed. It should have got the Zuan as well. But I really like this this spear too. This is really, really good. Karma comes out. We swap. All good shit. This is great. Zuan is uh, on you, not on the Druid, which is kind of good. And it gets moved back. Um, the Druid's got Thorns. We do some nice stuff here. Uh, we're kind of stabilizing. And that was a really, really big go. And I think we've got... Um, we had to use our trinket and bark, but like we got the windwalker's trinket, so he could die. He walls here, and I think what would have been better here when he has damp and harm up, right, is just to wait a few seconds on colossal smash um, before doing this go. Uh, he bops here. I think it's the right play to just swap to the H power rather than shatter it. Um, you could shatter it, but there's no CC to like continue the go, so it'll be difficult. Drew is doing a good job at surviving. Um, he gets a Warstorm Cyclone, which is nice. We banner here. I, I don't know what we're bannering, you know. Are we bannering the sweep? That was good. I don't know if that was bannered or DR'd. I'm pretty sure it was DR'd because they killed your banner. But um, maybe we could have done a better job at that banner uh, in future. Obviously, though, banner is one of the harder things to do. So don't worry about it too much. I think we could be... Yeah, there's the intervene. That's really good. He intervenes and he cyclones off. And I think you reflect the Hodge, so that's excellent. Such such a high value intervene there. 
Um, the Druid swaps the Cyclones over, which is great. Um, the, the Windwalker Walls. We fear here. I don't know if it's really worth fearing just the clones. I think if it's Zuen, it's worth fearing, but your Druid's not in CC, so it's not like you really need to fear there and you break it straight away. Um, it may have been more advised to hold that for a more dangerous situation. We get good damage out here, though, um, but the Windwalker's Trinket's coming back up. And we're pumping away. We get the intervene off, which is, that's a really good intervene. You're playing this really well, by the way. But it's looking dicey. It's definitely looking dicey. All right, let's look at the last couple of seconds there. Because I think what I noticed, right, um, here. Let's look at this. So this is where you're in the best position possible at the moment. You swap here, which is good, right? Which isn't bad. You intervene. And, like, I think there's... The Cyclone's okay. Maybe you wail away on the h power for a bit. And then this Windwalker, he's looking really ready for a go, right? I think you really have to take advantage of this go. We Stormbolt. I think we need to Stormbolt that straight away. And maybe if we storm bolted there, we get a lot more. So we get the fear out here, which is like, which is fine. But uh, I don't know. We're not really getting enough. And then his karma comes back off cooldown. So it's a little bit awkward. I think the storm bolt was fine. It might have just been a rough game. Like this isn't a matchup that you should really win. I think Windwalker H Bow should dominate uh, Warrior Ardruid, but. I think that go needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Um, this is fine. I'm trying to think, is there anything that kind of shows... Okay. When you get when he gets stunned, you intervene. With Zuen up, I would definitely have probably parried intervened. Because you're just too low. If you parry now, you won't. you also won't get swept, right? And if you're together and he has sweep, every Windwalker is looking for the sweep, right? So, one, we could have parried. We could have trinketed this as well, right? We had trinket. I didn't even realize. We had trinket and wall. Um, if your health is that low and you're playing with a druid, like, it's not going to get top quickly. So, I think it's just insta trinket parry there. Um, and then that lets you stay offensive and then you can, like, stun off as well. Because you come out of this stun, you're really, really low. Your Drew gets hot on you. But the parry comes out just a little too late. And I'm trying to think what kills you. I think it's a touch of death. Yeah, you take a judgment. And then the touch of death happens. Um, do we get to see the recap? I'd be really interested to see this recap. Okay, that's unfortunate. Um, I think there was a few mistakes that you made here. But yeah, overall played this really, really well. Um, generally, I think this is difficult. This is a really hard matchup. I really want to go more in depth into versing with Morkers and Twos because I think it's something that takes a long time to get better at, and it's a matter of playing really, really aggressive on the Windwalker and forcing him to hit you instead of your healer, um, and then and organizing it around that. The harder thing with Windwalkers at the moment is when they play with h pals because h pals are just so dominant in two. So if you don't have your own h pal, um, it's really difficult to win against the h pal team. Really, any h pal team is hard to win against um, when you don't have one. So overall, though, I think you did really well. Hopefully, some of the points are good. I don't have as many points as I do for you than as the last one I did, mainly because as we get higher up in CR and skill level, um, I think... It's less relevant. Uh, I have, you know, you're making less mistakes and it's more the minutia that that's kind of going wrong. I think you do really need to focus on getting more of a burst window against that rather than peeling the whole time. And one of the best ways to do that is, you know, landing some of those banners to really just negate their entire go. All right, guys, hopefully this was helpful. I'd really love to see um, more VODs. Uh, definitely priority. Like we looked at a 1400 VOD yesterday. We looked at a 1800 VOD today. If we can see 2K, 2.1, 2.2 VOD, I'd really like to see that. Because that way you guys can get a really easy like difference in the games. Like, like I think 
what you can see here that Centipede did really well is he was rotating his D stance and B stance. He was intervening at the right time. Um, he had general awareness and he understood the goes really well and he was using his cooldowns, right? The last games before um, yesterday, and this is something that a commoner picked up. I don't know. I, I just didn't pick this up at all. But the dude was in D stance the entire time, which is rough. I've done that before. Heaps of people have done that where they sit in D stance too much. Um, yeah, so so we might talk about that too. Uh, and, and we're definitely going to just discuss more of the technical aspect of games way more. Um, but yeah, if you have a higher rated game, you, you, you really might be trying to push Glad or maybe try and push Duelist. Um, I'd love to see it. I really want to see and show you guys like the differences between each skill group. Uh, again, I've got the Discord link in the YouTube. And if you want to chuck us a sub, it's much appreciated. Chuck us a follow on the Twitch and watch the games in real time. Um, it was excellent today. We got uh, 20 of you guys in here or, or 17 or something. Um, watching some of the twos and threes games on my alt. Um, I'd love to do more. So, so yeah, definitely, definitely show us some support. Um, thanks everyone. Take it easy.